prioritizing it's a big game a both teams are nine seven they will be on reds and don't pick KT bell bussy please i've made such it's a so bold useless. choice here picking the Aphelios, banning away the three meta bottom laners that we're why is Aphelios here, some bold choice band as well there is zeri severe yeah, uh, callus uh, solution how that right. win rate raven enjoyers kind of a there's a lot of Tom. ways for you to get there because the top is good. does kind of go in Lulu hard Ban is also not bad. To get a pick, to because Something the easy like thing Diego, for DRX here is... Trundle round, as the Sejuani will what is the easy thing away. for DRX here? And of course, I was thinking Sedge for them. And then you can deny any they just do Sedge matchup. Lulu. As, all right, I don't know why they banned Sedge away from themselves. That's the beauty I think Sedge can't KT. really work with them. They can just lock away Lee Sin and ask I guess they're going to pick Gregus. It certainly does discourage the Nar quite significantly. I think if he picks Nar, this guy will go Lee Sin. I like the Rakan a lot more here because they're going to be able to escape a lot better. I think Lulu is good. Lulu is the count. Rakan or Lulu is both good. And he Camille enjoys. Actually, Camille sucks. Composition with the time what is even good here? BP like is pretty Nar shit. Answer, but not a great Temp. time to be Nar. Renekton really is hard. Composition that wants the Nar. These sucks. Like uh, you what really want. And hey guys, it's Kajal. Uh, I'm gonna be pumping out loads of YouTube content, but I noticed that a lot of you aren't subscribed. There's gonna be a graphic somewhere. Maybe my editor puts it up. Uh, but if you could subscribe, it really helps. Uh, I really appreciate all the support on the videos recently. I'll try to be covering all the uh, major regions across the world as much as I can. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching the videos. Enjoy! Bitch. In a bit of trouble here if he wants to try to pick up the experience in this wave. Yeah, they actually want to try and kill him. All right, oh, there's the uh, the dive forward from life, That's and they really will just pick up first blood onto like Barrel this. by himself. Guarding for him, there's no potential angle here. King in. Oh, no. no. Missile dive comes through yet again as Cuz. Yep, he's just going to be aided by the Devour. Devour and Chomp as, uh, yep. The side lane, or in the solo lane, I should say. It's not Good for Rascal there to use ult to clear out the wave because the Aphelios is already hitting both Tower and the Gregus being going. This, this should be a pretty easy dive. Here as well. they're going they to have Tom Kenshi, just don't let him, don't let him escape. Zekka might TP, but I think his TP will actually get him killed if uh, Vic, oh no, Vickler ran back mid. Yeah, Vickler. XDD. But yeah, KT get Dragon. Will be a really good soul as well. He picked up so many plates worth of no matter what Drake it is, it's a really good soul. Hextech, Infernal, Mountain, all pretty good. Or <laughs> oh, he well, missed Charm. But life is smurfing out of his mind. How insane is life? This guy's carrying on Tumkench. Two gold lead in the jungle. Big. 11 gold lead, 19! Oh my god, the gold lead in jungle! And it's life, guys, unkillable. Able to move on over. Cyclone hits onto two as Def still looking to get in here. Aiming Holy barrel. To get out of the can he get the eat? Can he get the eat? Can he get the eat? So he got the eat. He might die for it, maybe, but. Maybe aiming can 1v9. Aiming, aiming, aiming. Aiming. Well. Is to be huge in this fight. Aiming. aiming. Is He's still alive. Big knock up. Knock up on the one. As life is dashing back in. Holy life, you're such a fucking chad. This was 4v5. Should be able to get the work done and get the work done. Charm, 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 charm. Mm, 4v5. Holy fuck. KT smurfing. Like, 7k gold, gold lead in 14 minutes. Doesn't matter. Bruh. The longer. It's safe. Our comp has a lot of Look at Rascal's build. What? Blade into chem tank? Cum tank? Set up by K what the KT. fuck? So many. I mean, look at the build from Rascal, by the way. Yeah, he's got a chem tank. Yeah. Why not? As Barrel is going to get well. taken out here. Uh, it is going wait, to if KT win, support. they're tied for third with Damwon. Yeah, no, they're tied for fourth there. with Damwon. Yeah. Is there a, is there a KT versus Damwon game before the end of the split? And no, that's it. Wait, who has the head-to-head? -head? Uh, oh no, T1 Damwon. There's one more game, yeah. And KT face Gen.G. Oh my god, Saturday is a banger. Gen G K T T1 Damon. You can't convince me that an ERL ca uh, an ERL coach is worth the risk when someone like the Misfit coaching staff is is available and you have maybe a first choice on it. The wallets are extraordinarily large, and Cuz and Aiming are still just doing the Baron. Great charm. Ooh. He's going to connect there. Zeka does manage to go golden. Death at full health, but there's a Devour. Just no win. one's anywhere near Everyone's Death one right shot. now. And Cave is how this has been the entire yeah. game long. 
And uh, yeah, Zek is just going for a bit of an alcove game. And Nexus turrets, to be perfectly honest, I don't think DRX are going to be able to stand too much of a chance here. They even get the teleport through from Rascal to make sure that uh, none of the minions are going to go down. Cyclone for a last ditch effort, but Kyoshik is going to Boom. be absolutely obliterated, aiming. Yeah, well, we'll see if DRX actually stand well a chance next game. Trying to do damage, because this wasn't even a draft if this Another was just a fucking team diff. Life was MVP of this. If Life doesn't get MVP, if Life doesn't get 13 out of 13, I'm going to mold out of my fucking mental. Life practically solo carried this whole game. Rascal was completely AFK and they were winning 4v5. Life won bot, mid, and jungle. Mistakes, the oh, someone's rang the doorbell. Wait a sec. Why is Wukong prioritized side in the meta with Tom Kent and engaged support? I understand the AoE CC, but aren't champs like Jarvan or Zinzog is better considering it's an early game meta? Do they win because of aiming, or is that the end? And then well, started to Wukong is really good we started to see Rascal get for 2v2s and 3v3s. Jarvan and Zinzao are stronger early, but the definition of stronger early is 1 to 6. So... They Rascal fall off a little bit after so 6 in terms of 2v2s, but Trundle doesn't because he has really good team fight. Um, so also Jarvan's not that good against uh, certain meta champs, right? Like Kalista, it's bad against. It's bad against Siri. Uh, it's bad against Sivir if they have Tom Kench on 4 or 5 as well, or on 3 or 4 as well. So uh, it's very hard to pick things like Jarvan. Also Jarvan loses every 1v1 in jungle, almost. I think he loses basically every single 1v1, the current meta. Um, as you mentioned, that list, like, so yeah, the early game definition that you're issues, leaning towards is 1 to 6, but camps like Wukong Trundle are strong early, think it's not as simple like as Diego as well, but they're also quite strong no, after 6 so as well. Jarvin is strong at 6 as well, but um, that, uh, not so much in 2v2s and 3v3s. He's just uh, an ult bot where you can punish things like Sivir. But if they're playing like Sivir Lulu, then of course Jarvin is insanely good. But you need to make sure you have follow up. You can't play Jarvin into Sivir Lulu with champs that don't follow up. Jarvan was good at the last split because uh, it was Jinx Ophelios we'll meta. Is going to be a yeah, you can just slam it because teams first pick. If they ban Silas, they ban Zeri, what are you first pick, DRX? If they leave like they could the leave both open, actually. They could. Because here. Twitch is yeah. good into Zeri. And so what they could do is if they pick Zeri, so then they just go Twitch Yumi. And if they go Yumi, then they can just play Zeri Lulu or something. Ari first pick. It looks like the matchup will be Azir Wukong, to the other side. something like this yeah, is fine. Azir you can't really fuck up the draft right choice. now. I think I mean, the Aphelios need to pick mid or jungle here because you need to save support on 3 in case they just blind the Yumi lane. Like if they play Twitch Yumi, you need to be able to play Nautilus here. Or Lulu. Lissandra into Ari, yeah, fine. I really like Wukong though for DRX then. Or KT, it's really good for both. I'm a huge fan of Swain. Are, are they just going to play a Jinx lane? Jinx Tom? Tom? Okay, now they can just play um, Aphelios Lulu, so Aphelios uh, Karma. Uh, they could just pick Wukong because there's so many supports. They can play Aphelios Brown. They can play Aphelios Renata would be really good here. Renata would be pretty sick actually. They should just go Renata. This is really good for KT actually. Ornban is good. And Gwen is, Gwen is high prior right now. They should just ban Trundle. No, they can't really. Probably. Uh, as you did in the last but the jungle pick doesn't this, matter because they don't have a jungler either. They have first pick of they have first pick of jungle right now. So far here in the first half, we'll see the orange. So they will probably just take Wukong. Ban. They could ban Trundle oh, here if they want. Go, if they pick Wukong here and get Sedge on five, bit, uh, you know, I think this draft is fucking crazy. For KT. Oh my god, they should just pick Wukong for sure. Please pick Wukong. I think we're all on the same page Bundles here. down as well. Part of this draft. And if they pick uh, Sedge Viego, now, you know, I think picking just pick up Nar maybe. That pick is the safest Why are they picking Sedge, Sedge first? Crazy jungle pick I think here. they should just take Wukong. Is locked in. Why is no one picking Wukong? Yeah. It's so and, broken uh, right now. They must have some kind of jungler here. Cuz Light here must have something into Wukong. If it's Lee Sin or Viego, I'm molding. Lex the Sejuani, 5 head. Now pick Renekton uh, or Camille. Right now. You don't need 5 pick Camille, Sejuani jungle. I'm mind blown what the RX is doing. I'm mind blown. I really am. I mean, Aatrox, Ari, what Viego are they doing? Why don't they take Wukong away? My only gripe with this is that you're running it into... Sejuani Wukong is so fucking broken. You could have just 
all in on the range advantage. Instead please like, don't you grief your cuss. Just pick it, please. Please, 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 please don't just pick. Thank move. fucking God, man. Also, Wukong why made it somehow all the way to the Why end did they not take away Wukong? Your cuss is 5 and 6 on, on Wukong, but aiming 8 and 0 on Aphelios. Take a chat. Oh, Rascal's alive. Oh, Cuss is alive too. What? How did they pull that off? Power damage bug. Power damage bug. If it wasn't bug, then it was a double kill for Aatrox. But it's not the player's fault. They know their limits based on how the tower is acting the last week, right? So they're playing against this tower for a week, so they have a good feeling. Once to when they will live and when they will die. There is a bug right now in the game where um, it's been there for nine days, I think. Where the tower damage doesn't ramp up properly. It's supposed to take more and more damage, but it doesn't ramp up properly. Looks like good game state so far for I think their top side is also really strong. Swain, Wukong, Sedge, Herald fight sounds fucking okay. The top is going good, mid is like slightly behind but I think it's supposed to be like this. I think Swain early. Both is even which is good. Not that Filios need to get out of this lane. Not like it's a losing game but... I don't know, KP's 3v3 just seems so unlosable that they should be able to get it. They just keep enemy bot in lane. Break fight, I also think is really KT favorite. Like their 3v3 top side is stronger, and their 4v4 bot side I think is stronger too. Um, Kench also no flash. They can just crash this, and get the next wave, and then go for Harold. Big Harold fight, but Vikla's not here without any, any assault. But neither is Zeka. I think this is free if KT just force it. Just have balls, just start it. Yeah, it's good, good vision plan. We'll reset. Next mid wave. But DRX are not a big thing. I don't think they can do this actually. KT will just push mid and move. Zeka stuck on a tower. They have to back here a bit, DRX. This is not great for them. But why is Rascal not moving? Rascal's... What the fuck is happening? Guys, how is this allowed? Oh my good god. I mean, they should still win the fight, but this is disgusting. They should have gone in 10 times earlier. And Sejuani should have been here 10 times earlier. I don't know why it's such a for pop wave. You can just push it in after the fight. It was an even wave. Oh my god. Did they get the buff? Yeah, they did. Wow, DRX are actually going to take this fight. Not going to trade for top two then. The heralding mid. Mid tower will die. Maybe. Oh, nice shot. Oh my god, nice follow up. Really good Zonyas though. Renato was pretty sick. Holy shit, KT is murdering them. KT is nuts. Is that a clean ace? This ult on the Ari was great, but the Renato ult was crazy good. Look at that Renato ult. It hits four people. And the Wukong as well. Oh I think KT can force Neptune. I think they can just force the turn when Sejuani can move from both to mid. Oh, they can kill him if that works. Oh, his Dago is really good. Knock up on to two. Carol sacrificed himself. Oh, Ignite. Ignite. Oh my god, he's dead. What is happening? Solo kill! How did he get this kill? Did he ult him? Oh my god. Wait, how did he cancel it? Oh, he just fucking threw it! Holy rascal. Actually, the fog right now can go to anyone. Only aiming. Are they gonna end with DRX having no kills? They have soul in 30 as well. Yeah, dive them. Oh, Vikla. Oh my god, DRX don't even get a single kill. 
Sixteen to zero. Oh my god, the LCK playoffs might be spicy as fuck. Sandbox beat T1, T1, uh, KT just clapped DRX. It's not gonna be a fucking. At the start of the split, it looked like it was just gonna be T1 versus Gen G, that's it.